Hello everyone. Welcome to a video class on the very famous play Trifles. It was written by Susan Glasspell in 1916. As, as a preliminary class, we will discuss the summary and characters today. Myself Arun Kumar, I teach at the Department of English, Government College, Manandawadi. As you all know, Trifles is a part of the course Women's Writings for, for BA English uh, under Kandari University. About the author, Susan Glasspell, she lived from 1876 to 1948. She was a very famous American playwright and novelist. She produced most of her works from 1910 to 1930s and 40s. But her, largely her works were dismissed during her lifetime for various reasons, but she was rediscovered in, in the 1970s uh, as a major writing uh, in, in feminism. And her novels and her plays were seen as, you know, various kinds of explorations of the difficulties faced by women in their uh, self-exploration and self-discovery. About the setting of uh, trifles, the play opens at the house of Mr. and Mrs. Wrights. And by the time the play begins, we learn that Mr. Wright has been murdered and Mrs. Wright has been accused and arrested for the murder of, of her husband. All characters, both men and women, they try to find, uh, you know, find out, figure out a reason or a motive behind the murder. So the whole play is some sort of an, of an investigation into the reason why a woman, a character committed uh, murder. And the characters, of course, there is John Wright and Mrs. Wright, but by the time the play begins, John Wright is already dead and murdered and Mrs. Wright uh, has been accused and she has been arrested and she is in jail now. And in order to investigate into the crime, there is a county attorney whose name is George Henderson and there is a sheriff whose name is Henry Peters. Also there is a neighboring farmer whose name is Lewis Hale. There are two uh, women characters. One is the wife of Sheriff, Mrs. Peters. Another one is the wife of the farmer, Mrs. Hale. So these are the characters of the play. The play opens at the house, precisely at the kitchen of the house of Mr. and Mrs. Wrights. So there, when they reach there, in the kitchen, everything looks shabby and abandoned and you know dishes uh, lay scattered here and there and there is a uh, bread outside the bread box and there is a dish towel on the table and there are so many unwashed pans and pans and vessels under the sink and it gives an impression that that some kind of work was going on and it was interrupted by some some reason and mr hale who is the farmer so he was the first person to uh, who, who came to know that uh, mr wright is is murdered and he was he was perhaps he was the person who informed the police so he explains what happened on the previous morning so he says that he went to meet Mr. Wright and uh, when he reached there he met Mrs. Wright and she was sitting on the rocking chair and rocking back and forth and she looked queer, uh, she looked very strange and she informed uh, him, means he, she informed uh, Mr. Hale, the farmer, that uh, her husband was dead by hanging. So we understand that Miss, Miss, uh, Mr. Wright is dead and Mrs. Wright uh, has been held for murder of her husband. Uh, then also from jail, uh, she worries about her vegetables when it turned so cold. So when the climate turned so cold, from jail she is worrying about her vegetables. Then uh, the farmer says, uh, women are used to worrying about trifles. I am quoting from the play. Now this is the first instance 
when the word trifles appear in the play. So the farmer says women are used to worrying about trifles. So the word meaning of trifles is that is that um, is silly things, frivolous things, inconsequential things, very small things uh, that needs to be avoided but unnecessarily you know taken into consideration by women. So actually women are they are worrying about these these silly things, these little things. So women's world is very much uh, simpler and, and smaller and sillier um, and, and everything uh, and all that is inconsequential, uh, that is unnecessary when, when all those things are compared with uh, men's world. So uh, they conclude that she was not a good housekeeper. Uh, but then uh, immediately Mrs. Hale uh, defends her, uh, defends Mrs. Wright. Uh, and her housekeeping and her work apparently they uh, were at least uh, they were friends at least at some point of time then uh, when when the men leave for another site for investigation uh, mrs peters and mrs hale mrs peters is the wife of sheriff and mrs hale is the wife of the farmer so mrs peters and mrs hale they start a conversation about uh, the woman, the arrested woman, Miss Mrs. Wright. So we learn from, uh, you know, we we learn from um, Mrs. Hale. Uh, Mrs. Hale is their neighbor. So we learn from her uh, neighbor that that Mrs. Wright, the woman who is arrested, she was a popular singer 30 years ago, and her name was Minnie Foster at that point of time. She was not Mrs. Uh, Wright. Which means she was not married to Mr. Wright. She was uh, she was a free woman, and she was a popular singer. She was in her fame. She was an artist. So, uh, thinking from that point of view, they do not think, and they cannot think that th that Minnie Foster, who was a very popular singer, who was very sweet and pretty, at some point of time, she committed the uh, the murder of that to her husband. So uh, they don't think like that. They don't think that she is the murderer. Uh, and when they, uh, you know, when they search around, when they when they look around, uh, they find that Mrs. Wright was uh, weaving a quilt, and you know some of the knots are not well stitched. So uh, you know, as we know, quilt is a three-layered, three-layered uh, three thing, and you know on uh, it's some some sort of a you know, sandwich like it's it's very very similar to sandwich so in the um, in the in the middle layer we have a very uh, very warm and very soft kind of a fabric and uh, on both sides there are uh, you know comparatively uh, thicker thicker layers of fabric and and all these three layers are stitched together so uh, some of the knots are not well stitched. So they infer that Mrs. Wright was uh, feeling very nervous regarding something that they don't know and that, that they are trying to find out. So also Mrs. Peters, so there is a, there is a quilt. This quilt is a, uh, uh, this quilt has a, has a very strong symbolic significance in this play. We must keep that in mind. Mrs. Peters later finds a bird cage in the cupboard and Mrs. Hale remembers that there was a man selling canaries around uh, the previous year. So as we know canaries are birds uh, that sing. So there was a man who was, uh, who was strolling here and there selling canaries. So Mrs. Wright must have bought a, a one or, or many canaries and she must also have bought a bird cage so in any case they they find a bird cage but they also find that the door of the cage is broken it is broken by someone so uh, it's sort of intriguing and and we don't know the audience uh, don't know how it happened so they discuss that mr wright was a good man so everybody had a very good opinion of Mr. Wright. He was a good man, but he was also a 
very difficult man very hard person very tough and very rough person to live with so for the others mr right was very good but for uh, mrs right but for minnie she was not a good man he was he was not a nice company for the wife so so they kind of imagine that uh, minnie uh, mrs right uh, she got a bird for a for some sort of a company uh, although it is it is also not worthy that they had no children so she was she might have been feeling um, very very lonely and she was all alone and her husband was not a very good company either so she bought a bird for a company and the bird was uh, was a singing bird and she was not a singer anymore she was a singer 30 years back but then when she got the bird she was not a singer uh, and she was not an artist so the bird is also another symbol in this uh, play uh, that we should keep in mind then uh, mrs hale uh, goes on to say say that uh she never visited mrs right because uh the place was caught and caught she says so lonesome and it was too far away from the road the main road so she uses the word hollow so uh this was some kind of a, some kind of an underground kind of a, and it was covered with all the trees and bushes and it it was totally invisible from the road so for for these reasons uh, the the place was so lonely and it was so gloomy that mrs hale never visited uh, mrs right so we feel that mrs hale is feeling a little bit guilty for not visiting mrs right because now that mrs right is is you know pictured as a murderer and she has been arrested so uh, mrs hale feels that she should have visited her at some point then um mrs hale she even she she goes on even to say that uh, minnie was like a bird before you know marriage so there is very obvious comparison between this singing bird canary um, and this canary we haven't found it yet the, we don't know where the bird is but we have found the bird cage uh, the door of which is broken so she was minnie was like a bird at some point of time and mrs hale says caught and caught real sweet and pretty so we get the impression and the various kinds of images of a very young girl who was enthusiastic who was who was completely absolutely happy because she was a singer so she she was enjoying that uh, that that singing career and she was for the fact that she was an artist and and also mrs hale says later that caught on caught how she did change so we get the impression that that a very sweet very enthusiastic very energetic dynamic and and very beautiful uh, a girl and a young woman such as mini she she underwent such tremendous changes um, in a marriage life in a, in a marital life so that um at the at, at the end of 30 years she had to buy a canary a singing bird for some sort of company so she, the house was gloomy she was gloomy her husband uh, mr right was very serious and he was a very difficult person to live with so this is how the marital life of a woman uh, transforms her into a mute identity and Mrs Hale also she finds a box there there is a box so to their uh, and to our shock as well uh, Mrs Hale finds a dead canary bird dead bird so see the dead body of the bird she finds inside the box she also notices to our um, to our you know surprise that the bird was not it was it was not dead just like that it was not dead very naturally somebody had killed the bird somebody had you know wrung its neck somebody has twisted and wrung the neck of the bird so somebody had uh, you know killed the bird and apparently mini 
has you know kept the dead body of the bird in a box very safely so we can connect all these things there is a bird cage its door is broken and there is no bird and then there is a dead body of the bird then we understand that somebody had killed the bird so and the bird was very precious to mini and that was her only companion that was her only friend that was her only company uh, so and also mr right was a very difficult person he was a very tough man and mini was apparently going through an unhappy married life so we can connect all these things and conclude that mr right might have rung the neck of the bird and uh, this is very much good reason uh, for mrs right to kill her husband and uh, when we understand all this the men come back and the attorney the sheriff and the farmer mr hale they are all unable to understand they they conclude that nobody has come from the outside uh, mini the mrs right is the murderer but they don't understand the reason why she killed her husband but we as as the audience we and also the two women they understand the reason they connect all these things together and they read out they kind of understand the meaning of the, the meaning of all these things the dead bird the bird cage and all these things so the men come again um, and the attorney makes uh, again he makes funny comments ridiculing comments about the quilt because the attorney suggests that you know uh, mini foster's life itself was very silly because she uh, was making a quilt she was doing such silly things such as making a quilt and also the lives of these two women the life of uh, mrs peters and mrs hale their life lives were also silly and you know it was filled with trifles because they were engaged in uh, in min mini trifles such as the quilt so uh, for them uh, the two women are engaged in frivolous things silly things such as uh, the quilt so quilt is some kind of a blanket as you as we as we know so uh, you know women were interested in things such as you know the blanket and other tapestries other you know uh, other various such silly things at home again the men leave so the when the men leave mrs peters recalls her memory of that she had a kitten so she recalls that she had a kitten when she was a girl and this kitten was uh, brutally killed by uh, one of one of her friends and he was a boy and uh, he, he she says that he had taken a knife and with in you know just before her eyes he killed the kitten and mrs peters uh, interestingly says that if i had you know if i had been dare enough if i had been bold enough courageous enough it, if if i was you know if if i was brave enough i would have hurt him this is very interesting because uh, there is a she is drawing a parallel between uh the act of hurting somebody and killing somebody when that somebody when that person has already hurt us so there is a there is this idea of taking revenge there is this idea of counter acting and uh, mrs hale conclude that also that mr right would not like a bird because it sang so he wouldn't Uh, it's not possible that mr right might have liked the bird he by no reason he could have loved the uh, the bird a bird like canary because it was a singing bird it sang and he wouldn't like it and of apparently mr right uh, has killed the bird so he must have killed the bird again uh, it, it it gives us an extended meaning that mr right has got killed he, he has killed uh, in the same way uh, in the same way the bird was 
um, as they infer so the he killed the bird and you know as a um, as a counter action he was killed by the bird's company that was his wife then uh, mrs peters talk about her knowledge of stillness she is talking about her uh, previous experiences of losing a baby at some point of life at some point of time in her life and she and she says i know the meaning of stillness that she says which means uh, mini or mrs right was also going through this experience and this agony of stillness a life that was absolutely still there is there was not changes it was not moving at all and and it was silent and nobody was talking and it we can contrast it with the life that mini had before the marriage that was full of so much full of sounds and so much full of movements and enthusiasm and energy and dynamism so all that ended up in silence and in stillness in this unhappy married life so uh, mrs hale again she regrets that now she says openly that she should have visited mini no i should have visited mini because uh, because we are, after all we are all women so the, she draws a connecting link between one uh, woman and the other woman saying that after all we are going through the same agony and the same painful experience of being trapped in a uh, married life so i should have thought about it and i should have visited mini especially because mini was uh, not making any contacts with the outside world so i should have uh, thought deeper about it and she's she's regretting thinking like this uh and mrs peters the wife of sheriff she says that you know uh, they uh, she says that they are making all these conclusions by looking at a bird cage and its broken door and also the dead body of a canary so if the men would uh, listen to all this all these talks that is these uh, evidences so called evidences in their language that is a bird cage and a canary and the broken door and the wrung neck of the bird so mrs peter says if the men heard them you know getting worried about all these things and and making stories of all these things uh, they would laugh at them they would laugh saying that again you women are uh, engaged in in this uh, frivolous trifles then the men come back then again the attorney is very much sure that mrs right is the murderer nobody has come from outside uh, to murder mr right so uh, but he is completely unsure about the reason why she committed the murder so in order to get the reason he is about to make further investigation to know the motive of uh, the murder so at the uh, at the final scene of the play uh, the women they trick the supervision of the men and they the women mrs peters and mrs hale they wanted to get the box out of the house and give it to mrs uh, mrs right uh, but then the women are the men are watching the attorney and the sheriff are watching so uh, somehow at the you know with a with a scene that is uh, that is so much loaded with some confusion and also surprise and also shock they these two women they trick the supervision uh, the close watching of men and they conceal the box with a dead bird and after some confusion mrs hale puts it in her coat pocket mrs mrs peters tries tries to get it out of the house but uh, she is not successful in doing it because the men were watching so in a very short span of time when the men were not watching them um uh, you know in in a matter of some seconds mrs hale puts it in her coat pocket and she is taking it outside apparently for giving it to mini so the play ends with attorneys again again the attorney is making a ridiculing comment about the quilt so he is making a ridiculing comment about the quilt because uh he thinks that the quilt is a very silly piece of Uh, information for him because he is 
conducting a very serious quote unquote serious investigation and the quilt is a silly thing because Mrs. Wright was engaged in making a quilt and it has no uh, it has no role in his investigation because it is not a piece of evidence but for the women the quilt and the the not so well stitched uh, knots of the quilt you know as i said some knots are not well stitched so they uh, they indicate the nervousness the mrs wright was uh, going through so uh, the attorney is making a very ridiculing and funny uh, comments about the quilt and and knotting so at the by the time the the play closes the both the women are about to leave uh, and they have already concealed the box in their co in in mrs hale's uh, coat pocket with the dead bird inside it so the attorney says uh, he says very uh, kind of uh, in, in a very ridiculing way well Henry at least we found out that she was not going to quilt it she was going to what is it you call it ladies and Mrs. Hale says we call it not it Mr. Henderson so here not K N O T not not uh, not it on the one hand it, it refers to the making of the quilt which is made of uh, the quilt is made of so many knots but on the, on the other hand, we, the audience know that the knotting that Mrs. Hale is, not, is talking about is not about the quilt, but about the act of murdering. That is the act of hanging somebody by, you know, no, by making a knot around his head and hanging him. So apparently Mrs. Wright you know, took a rope and she made a knot around the neck of uh, her husband when he was asleep and she hanged him by making a knot so knotting has you know two uh, very different meanings in this play and also the quilt is again a symbol of you know kind of you know, we'll we'll explore the uh, various kinds of symbols in the play and we'll explore their their symbolic significance in a in a in another class but uh, but for for keeping it in our memory uh, we must say that you know the bird the bird cage and also the uh, dead bird and and also the quilt and the knots they all have symbolic significance uh, significance uh, you know in terms of their relationship with the identity and also the suffering of mrs wright as a married woman so we'll look at uh, the the importance of the title the trifles no uh, so, so what is the uh, what is the title the trifles signify uh, it signifies the male prejudice that women are interested only in silly superficial uh, inconsequential frivolous matters or things and they are trifles so trifles is a word that men attribute to the uh, to the standards uh, and the significance of the lives of women and uh, you know trifles in the play uh, in the play the men say that the quilt that she was piecing together by quilting or knotting that was the trifles uh, as far as men were concerned the men characters such as Henry uh, and and the the attorney and the sheriff were concerned these things were trifles the quilt uh, and knotting or quilting it was trifles but in the play the audience know or the readers or the audience know that the that only the women characters can understand the reason behind the murder uh, through their analysis of the so-called trifles the so-called quilt and the bird cage the dead canary all these things so the women uh, uh, connect all these things they link all these things in their thoughts and they kind of derive a very logical reason behind the murder which the men can never understand the men would 
even if they come to know about it they would laugh at it so they will never be able to understand uh, such such very you know very meaningful conclusions uh, that is something so the 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 uh, the title of the word uh, uh, trifles the title of the, the title of the play the trifles is a is is it signifies some sort of an irony so men think that the life of women uh, the lives of women are filled with you know so many trifles and their lives itself uh, I, uh, are trifles but actually uh, it is the men who cannot understand the meaning of the depth of meaning of such trifles uh, and the such meanings are are exposed and revealed to the to the reader uh, and also to the audience and the main themes at a glance as i said we'll explore the themes in in great detail in uh, in uh, the following classes but themes at a glance uh, there is a male prejudice as we said there is a male prejudice that women's lives are superficial also there is unhappy marriage why is there a theme of unhappy marriage because mrs wright is the victim of an unhappy marriage with mr john wright so um, as we have already seen she was a singer she was a very fabulous famous energetic dynamic sweet and pretty singer third some 30 years ago and this married life has made her life uh, silent gloomy uh, and still so there is and this unhappy uh, marriage is the is, is something that provokes her even to kill her own husband and by killing her own husband she is actually putting an end to the unhappy marriage uh, also there is patriarchy in the form of mr right and its various kinds of forces that prevent women from pursuing their dreams which is very very important and that is a crucial part of the part of the play because minnie foster was a very famous and established singer she could not pursue a um, a singing career because uh, and because she was married to mr mr right and she did not he was a very tough man he was a very uh, difficult man to deal with and uh, by saying that mr right would not like the bird because it sang so we obviously uh, he would not want his wife to pursue a singing career so it was he it was the husband who put an an end a, a final end to the singing career of uh, mini foster so there is a very strong uh, patriarchal force that prevent and then block women to uh, from continuing their you know continue chasing their dreams so also there is the protest from the part of women mini foster finally has made a protest um, and that protest is the extent of you know committing uh, murdering the uh, her, her own husband who is the who is a symbol of patriarchy as we can see from the play and also there is uh, there is there are invisible bonds that you know uh, mrs hale mrs peters they they are the only characters who understand minnie foster who understand the reason why she killed her husband the other characters of the play who are uh, who are men uh, the attorney the sheriff and the farmer they do not understand the reason why she killed her husband so the play uh, the play uh, puts forward the notion of this invisible some kind of a commonality some kind of an, uh, an invisible bond shared um, shared between and among uh, women in general and also they extend their you know solidarity these two women characters they extend their support and their solidarity in opposing the male dominance because they uh, very cleverly they cover up all these uh, you know evidences so called evidences uh, this this bird cage and the canary the dead canary the box and the quilt all these things they manage to cover up Uh, and also they decide to take out the box and give it to mini so that is uh, although it is not a very 
explicit and it is not a very uh, direct kind of a protest against male dominance it is some sort of a protest as we can see so these are the main themes that the play uh, so, so the, that the play has for us uh, we'll discuss the themes uh, uh, in in uh, other classes okay so this is all about uh, the summary of the play and also the uh, characters and the setting and the significance of the title and also the themes at a glance thank you for watching me